y'all it's leah and this is leah bia tv and thank you so much for tuning in and joining me in my kitchen so today we come back to the kitchen with another crock pot meal y'all know last time i did the roast for y'all so if you're interested in that video um definitely check that out i will leave that somewhere be in the cards or something or in the description but today what we're gonna do is we're making corned beef in the crock pot and cabbage now this is one of my favorite sunday meals i cook every sunday for the most part i try to have me a little extra meal okay so it's a motorcycle outside so if y'all hear that you know we just gonna we just gonna skip over that anyway <laughs> like i said i like to cook almost every sunday you know for my family and friends or just for my household and this is one of my favorite 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 meals to make now it's a, got a little different spin to it. So it ain't your grandma's corned beef. I'm telling you that. It has a sweet twist. And that's what y'all, what I want y'all to see. Now, you can always omit these sweet ingredients if that's not your speed and you want to try, you know, you're not into the sweetness. But, baby, you got to try it at least once because it's fire. It's my favorite way to eat it. I ain't going to lie to you. But, if you don't like that, you can omit the sweet ingredients that I'm going to include today and it will still be fire, I'm telling you right now. So, before we get started, please subscribe, give me this video a like, and then also comment any questions or anything that you want to add, or if you're going to try the recipe, comment that down below. And here we go, we're going to get into this video. <laughs> Okay y'all, so the first thing I wanna go over is the ingredients for each thing. So, I'm doing the corned beef, like I said, and I'm doing the cabbage. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients that you're gonna need for the corned beef, and the ingredients that you're gonna need for your cabbage. Very simple, we got it. <laughs> I have the cabbage cut, and it's been soaking in cold water here. Cooking. I have two six sticks of salted butter, chicken broth, onion powder, garlic powder, Laurie's and black pepper. We have for the corned beef a two and a half corn, two and a half pound corned beef. The seasoning packet that comes with it, mustard, honey, dark brown sugar, and burners. Okay, so I know what you're probably thinking. You like Leah burners? Are you kidding me? Yes, burners. You hear me? Hello, hello, anybody there? burners <laughs> i'm just trying to put y'all hip this is really my secret sauce like i make this all the time i know for a fact that it's good so i'm just letting y'all know it is my secret weapon it does like i said have a sweet tang to it now if you do not want the sweetness and you prefer you know just a nice corned beef you could still do this recipe i just wouldn't i wouldn't include the honey and i wouldn't include the brown sugar everything else i would in fact include because it's still going to be delicious so even the burners the burners is not going to give it too much of a sweet taste and it's a it makes for a good broth i'm just putting that out there i'm going to put the exact measurements in the description box because i know sometimes measurements i might have to use more or less so i'll make sure everything is down below so y'all can get a good idea of what you're gonna need all right first what we need to do is we got to get this uh, this corned beef prep you ready because i'm ready <laughs> that's perfect y'all can call me extra or whatever but i'm gonna put on some some little gloves because this part does get messy put my gloves <laughs> on because like i said this part you gotta rub this baby down you know like i'm about to go to surgery of course always wash your hands before you know can't be out here you know, spreading no germs to your food, okay? You don't do that around here. So, I'm not gonna use a whole bunch of seasonings on it because it, this kind of takes care of that. So, what I'm gonna do first is I start off, I like to start off with the mustard. Okay, so first. <laughs> so, I make, I make sure it's enough to, to cover the whole thing pretty much, it's like, Give it a little bath. And this kind of, you know, basically weighs in with the sweetness so it's not so super sweet. And gives it a little bit of depth and flavor. But that's that. Then we're going to go in with the honey. And 
I like to do the same with that. Give it a nice, what a nice, nice. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> big mama right here. There's a big mama. We gotta make sure she good and lathered up, you know? <laughs> Let me stop before YouTube say something. <laughs> Got that. Now, next thing I wanna use is the seasoning packet. And you wanna sprinkle the whole thing. Yeah. Nice and. Okay then. Next. This is super simple, y'all. Like, I know I'm making a mess, but we just gonna have to make it work. I put brown sugar. Now, like I said, you do not want the sweetness. You do not have to have brown sugar or honey. But I like to pack it in to the meat. It may look like a lot, but it's not. It's really now what we have is the crock pot set to high. And we are going to start the cooking process. That's simple. So first things first, your verners. Simply just pour it in. Pour it in until it's covered, y'all. And number two. Okay, y'all, so my friend showed up on me and showed me some love on this Sunday. So, Hi guys. <laughs> this is Deja. Y'all can follow her on Instagram. I am going to add it into the description box if y'all want to follow my girl. But she's going to assist me with the cabbage part, you know, and help help out a little bit in the kitchen tonight. So, we're going to keep this ball rolling. We're going to start on the cabbage and we're going to see what's up. Alright. Okay, so I got my helper Deja in the kitchen with me. Period. And as y'all can see, I put one of the sticks of salted butter in there and we're gonna use the seasonings on it. So that's the Lawry seasoning salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. <laughs> okay. We got them all. That's so good. sis gonna start seasoning that up so we can get that color in there. Boom. Boom bada bam ba bam. Let's see. It's the onion powder. Yep, onion powder. Onion powder's in. Mm-hmm. And you got, you see I got uh, your granny pot. This boy mm -hmm. been in the house for a minute. And yeah. it's, it's my little trusty. My What's that, Deja? It's the trials and tribulations. <laughs> <laughs> that trusty pot. Yeah. Okay, that's the garlic that's the powder. Garlic. We got a little hot on the garlic because we never have too much garlic. Yeah, definitely. That'd be good. Definitely. Okay. And then the black, black pepper. pepper, of course. You know that's a staple. Reliable and okay. ready to go. So now she's gonna start adding from the bowl some pieces of the cabbage into the, the pot. Hear the sizzle? Yep, y'all hear it sizzling. So she's gonna stir it up so all the seasonings and all the butter can start touching the cabbage and getting that flavor on it. Yep, just good little stir. Whoop! Woo! Yes. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay y'all. So I got a secret ingredient that I forgot to say in the beginning for the cabbage. But I got some bacon. Now, if you ain't a pork eater, you can also do turkey bacon. It's probably just as delicious. But if you don't want the bacon at all, don't include it. But I'm going to put this in the oven because I'm going to add it to my cabbage once it starts cooking. So, just okay, so, you know. so now we added the rest of the cabbage and then I chopped up half a stick of butter, um, another half a stick of butter, and then we also put some more seasoning on the top. So now what Deja gonna do, she gonna add the chicken broth. Okay. So chicken broth basically until it's covered, it, it might take the whole thing. We'll see. And why not? Chicken <laughs> broth, add that flavor. Yep, you probably gonna use that whole thing. You around town. <laughs> okay. That's almost all of me. Okay. Alright. Now lid. we can give it one more stir, one more stir and then it's a lid. Okay. 
get down in there. See with this, we could add a little water. Just to cover it. Yeah, yeah just to cover it since the chicken broth is not covering it. All so right. about two cups of water. I was just eyeballing it. Maybe I need some more. That's about two cups, but I think that's perfect. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. So one little stir and then we gonna cover it up. And I'm gonna put it on medium heat. Yes. Now, when the bacon gets done, I am gonna crumble that up in here. So I'll show y'all that once it's time to put the bacon in. All right, y'all, so the bacon is done. This is four strips just broken up into pieces. So I'm just gonna add all that to the cabbage we got here. And some of that bacon grease is fine, just a little bit, you know. <laughs> and just stir it up once again, you know. Mixing it in with all them juices. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's not ready yet because, you know, the, the the cabbage gotta be tender for me. I'm sorry, you just got to. So we gonna mix that up and then we're gonna cover it back up. And then we'll be back once it's done. Okay, y'all. Uh, so the food is done, but I just have to give y'all a quick story time because I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> so listen. I usually start my Sunday meals early, early, early. It was like 9, 10 a.m. So it'll be done 5 or 6, you know, so I can get it out the way. But today I had other stuff going on and I just could not get it done early. So right now it's going on 1.30ish. So that's a long time for me to be sitting around waiting. I didn't fell asleep, woke back up, but... The finished product is so worth it. And I just definitely want us to get this recipe out to everyone and make sure if you want to try it, that you enjoy it. So I'm going to show you guys the finished product. What I did do is go and about 30 minutes ago, I took the corned beef out and chopped it, sliced it up, you know, so it's easier to eat. So I did do that and it's looking good, smelling delicious, tasting delicious. And the cabbage has been done. I, that's been done for a minute. So I did finish both and I'm so happy because uh, your girl is going to eat a little something and I'm going to bed. <laughs> but I did accomplish my goal because I said today I was going to record all this footage. But I'm going to show y'all how it looks so y'all can take a look at it for yourselves and see how it turned out. And here it is. This is the finished result, you guys. Juicy and tender. And just the perfect combo. Now, I was going to do cornbread, but I messed up and forgot the things at the store. But I'm about to tear this up in itself. It's beautiful. Okay, y'all. Uh, so that's it. I'm finally finished. I am so tired. I, but I am going to eat a little something before I lay down and go to sleep. But I had to get this video out for y'all. So if you really did enjoy this, please like. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you felt about the recipe. And if you're going to try it for yourself. And also subscribe to this channel. It's a free way you can help me out. Because I'm going to keep coming with some heat for y'all. Stuff that you can use. My allergies acting up. I don't know what's going on. I'm all puffy. and <laughs> But I'm good. So I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Night, evening, afternoon. Or whatever it is. And I'll catch y'all later.